Hello, hello everybody, it's your Prof Trof, and we're back again with a new Salmonella video banned and controversial foods. Let's go, yo. Let's check it out. Hey Majors, so hey. I'd like to start off with a little biology lesson. When a species okay. finds itself living on an island, it can start to evolve in strange cool. ways based on the different pressures applied by the new environment. This mm -hmm. is called island syndrome. And, and lack of predators in some cases. A small island, maybe not so many predators. While it can manifest in a lot of ways, the biggest driving force is often a lack of predators. Oh. For example, the dodo lost its ability to fly since there was nothing to flee from. The same mm. killed a field mouse got Damn. twice as big since it no longer had to hide. And with no one around to Kinda bully cute, them, though. the Sardinians started putting maggots in their cheese. Meet huh? Kazumartsu, literal translation, rotten cheese. Yeah, that looks awful. Looks like a carcass. It's made by taking a perfectly Bro. good wheel of pecorino and letting a special type of oh, fly lay eggs cheese in it. Fly. The fly babies then work to partially digest the cheese, rendering it goopy and wet and maybe quite. So it's not, it's not awful enough that you put a fly on the cheese. You have the fly put worms inside of the cheese. Tasty and worm filled. Now, cheese as a concept is already quite suspect. It's clotted milk that you fill yeah, with delicious and mold and let's I love white cheese. While. But cheese is safe and delicious. Cheese mm. is my friend. I trust cheese. Yes, so my garden with my life. around Kazumartsu. I've learned to look past a cheese's childhood. Strange upbringings are what give them their character. But it turns out those maggots are still alive. And if you don't chew well enough, they can cause enteric myiasis, which is a fancy term for fly. Bro, I have seen house. I have seen what sort of things they pull out of people's bodies. I don't want life maggots near me. My larvae living in your intestines. Yeah. Symptoms are similar Sounds to like hell. poisoning. Except with the added psychic pain of knowing that, again, your bowels are full of squiggly new friends. It's for this reason that Kazumartsu is banned in the EU and elsewhere. Hey, we black something. market still exists, which is wild. Ew, and it's not a small one. In 2019, all? the illicit Kazumartsu trade was estimated to be worth 2 to 3 million euros annually. Personally, I would just do a... I mean, that... Honestly, that doesn't seem that much. Like, that's a lot of money, but... Prohibition style, like, definitely don't put these fly eggs on this sumptuous wheel of pecorino. <laughs> but if you do, you absolutely shouldn't Make keep sure it they're warm alive. and for a week. But although it's traditional to leave the larvae alive when you eat your mag and cheese, some consumers still prefer them dead, shockingly. In that yeah. case, one puts the cheese in a sealed bag, and when the maggots run out of oxygen, they writhe around and fling themselves all over the place. This is heard as a distinct pitter I mean, I, listen, you, you're not gonna make me feel bad for maggots. I'm glad they're all dead. ...patter against the walls of the bag. And when the sound stops, the contents are ready to eat. Like popcorn. Shark fin soup is one most of us have heard shark about fin. already. Mostly in reference... I have tried shark meat. I wasn't a big fan of it, to be honest. I'm not too much of a fish person. ...to its effect on shark populations and the wastefulness that goes into making it. Until Wait. recently, though, I never... They just used the fin? What? Why? looked into the nature of the dish itself. I figured, right, the fins are just the only part of the shark worth eating. Big whoop. It's probably not much different from, like, swordfish. Apparently, though, I had it backwards. Shark fins aren't even meat. They're made almost entirely of cartilage and collagen. They are the last part we should be eating. That's why it's huh? only made into soup, because without being soaked in broth, it has zero flavor or nutritional value on its own. Their only redeeming quality is their unique mouthfeel due to how stringily the collagen grows. In structures wow. called ceratotrichia. The texture has been described as somewhere between chewy and crunchy, which I find describes most things, actually. Other adjectives <laughs> present on true. Wikipedia include snappy, gelatinous, and sinewy. The exact sensation of sinewy. eating this substance remains- Who wants their food to be sinewy? Brother! It's a mystery to me, which and the unintended side this. effect of all this research is that I now really want to try it. Like, it's a big trade. I've got to be God, the one that's wrong. Damn. There is imitation shark fin soup available, but I've already decided that it's not nearly as Bro, good. So I've come up with a compromise in this good. controversy. Everyone on Earth gets just one bite. Say mm -hmm. there's 10 bites to a fin, 4 fins to a shark, 200 million sharks die, sure, a necessary casualty, but then we can end the practice forever. All done. You can finally rest, Mr. Hey, it's Mink. Yao Mink. Come here, baby. Aww. Bro, he used to be such a good basketball player, but problems with being six foot, seven foot six, I think he was, is that your legs are not meant to jump. Okay, you too big, bro. Stop. What? Aki? Aki? Where? Aki. The Aki is a fruit originally from I've West never Africa, seen that in my which life. is most commonly associated with Jamaican cuisine, where it appears in such dishes as Aki and saltfish. These alien oh. kidneys here are called the arils, and they're the it's only like part of sack. the fruit that's actually eaten. The flavor is on the savory side, Bruh. being described as kind of nutty or bean-like. What makes the Aki controversial, yeah, though, is the effects it can cause when prepared improperly. If the oh. arils are allowed oh. to completely run 
is it like that one Japanese fish with which everybody likes eating, but it has a poison that can murder your ass if it's not correctly made? Ripen, they're Imagine harmless. Imagine it is. You eat them I don't too know. Early, I remember the name. Or don't thoroughly clean off all it's the non-animal stuff. They like can eyes, cause Jamaican vomiting sickness. This disease doesn't sound Jamaican? real. It sounds like it belongs next to Eastern sweats and Tangerian bone grindings, but that's actually Tangerian bone grinding. Just just hearing bone grinding is the enough to make me like, and nah, as for symptoms, it does do what that. it says on the tin. Plus, maybe death. While Aki Whoa, based let's officially check an out. official term, and as for okay, if it's an, eh, while I'm fully wrapped blah 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 blah, over and it can cause vomiting and even death. It can cause death. For symptoms, it does what it says Damn. on the tin. Plus, maybe death. While Aki based products aren't outright illegal in the United States, they are very tightly regulated, and the raw fruit itself cannot be imported. So, if you're American and want oh. to try it, your options are fully cooked canned Aki or going to Florida, canned where a few people grow it domestically. Next, we have Bird's Nest Soup. Course, this is Florida. another one that I've vaguely heard of, and what for years I just assumed this? the name was a playful metaphor, like ants on a log or shit on a shingle. Turns out, nope, this dish contains an actual bird nest, not like a pile of twigs like I was picturing, but rather a specific type of nest only made by certain species of swiftlets. These nests Swiftlet. are mostly made out of mucins, which are a set of proteins that, among other things, serve to thicken all those wonderful secretions hey. our bodies make. There's a little bit in human saliva, Bruh. a little okay. bit more- Sam, how did- What is that thing, man? It looks like that one SCP. Y'all remember that? Like, if you look at it, it whoops your ass. Or in mucus, and in swiftlet saliva, look out, pal. Mm. So all the swiftlet does is it finds a nice wall, starts <laughs> laying out fat strings of slobber, which dry, and eventually she's got a nice place to roost. That is, right? And that's when people say, hey, I want to make a soup out of that. Out of bird spit. Okay. Right up until some gourmand okay. says, Ugh, today I crave bird spit. Uh, you can keep Four the fingers? Eggs low. And they then reconstitute it back into its original gelatinous texture. Unfortunately, you need to be inbred enough to think this is a good idea, right? Fortunately, these nests can't enter the U.S. And Abs believe Burke it or not, bread. eating bird saliva is a great way to catch bird flu. And now ah, the time has thought? come to speak of the Ortolan. The Ortolan, Ortolan is a kind sounds of like a Pokemon, bunt, which is a sort of passerine, which is a type of bird. Okay. They're birds. Like many animals, they damn. have a long history of being eaten by the French. But what separates the Ortolan from French. your average squab or pheasant is the unique way in which it is prepared Raw? and eaten. They're typically caught with nets and kept in the dark, which causes them to overeat for some reason. Once it's about twice as fat, the entire bird is then thrown into a container of brandy, alive, and sealed in. While this serves to marinate the creature, it also drowns. Yeah, I imagine it's not alive for much longer after that, huh? Drowns in the process, thereby killing one bird with no stones. The ortolan is then roasted, plucked, and presented whole to the consumer, who inserts wait. the carcass into their mouth. Wait, wait, wait! Did he make a mistake? He said roasted and then plucked. Pretty sure you're supposed to pluck something before you roast it. But this is weird enough where it might just be how it's done. Mouth, feet first. As they chew, one hand continues holding the bird's head while the other picks out the larger bones. This whole ritual is usually performed with a towel or large napkin over one's head. There's a few explanations. Okay, I know how this could be made better. While the towel is on their head, make sure it's big enough. Grab it by both ends and strangle the stupid motherfucker. What are you eating, brother? What is wrong with you? Why is this a thing? This sounds absolutely disgusting. He looks disgusting. For the purpose of the towel. Some say it's just there to keep the aromas in, while others say it's there to, quote, shield from God's eyes the shame of such a decadent and disgraceful act. Yeah, this one I'm okay with not trying, actually. Notable fans Bro, of this dish it. include, not joking, Bill Cosby and the guy who oh. invented the lobotomy. Ah, to be part oh. of that social club. Our mission is to eat birds whole and then make people not remember things. Killing Ortolans was banned across the EU in 2007. Let's go! We did something again. Reason, but because French people did this so much Wait. that the entire Ortolan population was threatened. Thankfully, no, as of no, 2018, their conservation status is under least concern, so oh, hopefully the so French can get back to it back. soon. Anyway, that's all I have for today. Till next time, I'm Sam. It reminds me of one... What was the other... It was called... Where it was a bigger bird. You flush it with so much food, and then you cook it while it's still alive or something with all the food in its mouth. You keep stuffing it with food. That was also kind of disgusting. I've never eaten it, but I've heard about it. If anybody knows what I'm talking about, let me know in the comments. Because I know it was a thing I don't remember much about. I know it's a bigger bird. Anyway, I hope y'all enjoyed this. And I'll check y'all next time. Okay. Bye, everybody. Have a good day.